Hi, I'm Donovan Brown, DevOps Manager for Microsoft. I'd like to introduce you to Azure Test Plans. Manual testing can be a key testing technique to delivering a great user experience. Azure Test Plan offers the features you need to manage your testing effort, from manual and exploratory testing to load and stress testing. Let's jump right in and let me show you how you can get started. To begin with manual testing, I'm going to start right here on the landing page of dev.azure.com. I know which project I want to start testing with, so from here I can click on the test link. This is going to take me to my test plans. Before you can add test cases, you have to create a test plan. Simply click this link and enter a name. A test plan is made up of configurations, test suites, and test cases which can be broken down into shared test steps and use parameters. Let's begin by adding configurations upon which we intend to run our tests. To add a configuration, click the Configurations link in the left navigation. Here you can review all your configurations and configuration variables. We're going to be testing a web application using Chrome and Edge, both from Windows 10. We can edit the existing Windows configuration and add the browser configuration variable and set it to Chrome. Now save the changes and let's add a second configuration for Windows 10 and Edge. If we need to track additional attributes of our configurations, we could add additional configuration variables and the valid list of values. We can then add them to our configurations, but for now, OS and browser are all we need. Test configurations can be assigned to the entire test plan or individual test suites and even test cases. Assigning a test configuration to the entire test plan will ensure all test cases added are automatically assigned to those configurations. Setting up your configurations first and associating them with your test plan makes creating your test matrix a snap. With our configuration set, we can now start adding test suites, which are collections of test cases. There are three different types of test suites, static, requirement-based, and query-based. A static suite is a logical container where you can add any test cases you like. When creating a static test suite, you just add a name. A requirement-based test suite is where you associate your test cases to a work item to define its acceptance criteria. This linkage will be visible even outside of your test plan. The final type is a query-based suite, where you create a work item query to select which test cases to include. Any test cases that meet these criteria will automatically be added to the test suite. Let's edit a test case to see what they are made of. You have the steps to execute and any expected results. Steps that are repeated often can be extracted as shared steps to ease with test maintenance. Let's associate the new configuration to our test case. Once we do, you will notice our test case is now listed twice once for each configuration. Now we can run our test case and collect the results. Notice that we can test web applications and desktop applications as well. With the test runner being web-based, we can execute our test anywhere, including on a mobile device. Now we simply follow the steps and pass or fail them based on what we observe. The first step instructs the tester to open the admin page. Then open the security page. And finally, click Members to see if Steven is shown. As we can see, my name is the only one listed, so therefore this test step has failed. I'm able to leave a comment and even file a bug. 
notice that the bug already has the steps to repo filled in from the test case. Once I stop testing, my test status is updated and I can continue with additional testing. From the runs page, I can review all my previous test runs. Before I go, I want to encourage you to visit docs.microsoft.com to learn more about manual testing.